Hello and welcome to week 40 of this 52 week series for the Web Pro on what every web administrator needs to know to be successful in this space. My name is Scott Forsyth and today I want to look at Windows Firewall and how to troubleshoot situations where we want to be able to allow just specific IP and port through and sometimes we it doesn't work as we expect. So why is that? I want to show a real quick trick that makes it easy to troubleshoot this. And so first off, let's say I have two machines here. I have this one here, I want to use a UNC share to the other one. So let's actually uh, test it out and confirm that it doesn't work for us. So 206.72.117.18c colon and if we wait here it's going to time out. So the reason is because we have the firewall turned on and our rules are quite locked down. You can see there's no remote sharing and a lot of the network access has been turned off and the particular access we need has also been turned off. So I want to find out how to let that through. So of course one thing we can do is just do a Google or a Bing search and so if we just call it up here and we do TCP ports for example or standard or common TCP ports and this one here this Wikipedia one is actually really good of TCP and UDP ports so we can search here and oftentimes find what we need let's see if we can SMB access yeah there we go so 445 is what our end answer is going to be in this particular test but sometimes you can't find that you don't know what it's called or you have a surprise. You let through one IP address and somehow it comes through as a different IP address. So that's what we want to find out how we can troubleshoot this. So here's what I do. Um, first is we let's say we take a fresh machine and I open up Windows Firewall. The way I usually get to that is just type in Firewall and don't use a standard Windows Firewall. Use with advanced security. So now you go to the inbound rules and here's your various inbound rules here. Uh, but let's say we want to create our own custom one for anything that's unique. So what I'm showing here, you know, it is possible to select the one for file and printer sharing. I'm not sure exactly. Probably one of these ones here is the equivalent of what we want. But I'm not going to use these standard ones. We're going to lock it down a bit further. So let's go and into our properties and go to the logging here. And what we can do is we can log by successful. Of course, I'd be very chatty. And by dropped. So let's turn on this one. And we're going to do it for all three profiles. And I'm not going to get into too much discussion of profiles, but basically, depending on if you're coming to the domain, public, private, uh, it will actually use a different profile. It allows it to kind of to lock down, not just by IP address, but by how they're accessing the machine. When I'm troubleshooting this, I set it to yes on all three, because I don't want to get thrown off as to the wrong, wrong one is being used. So I've now enabled that. Oh, and no, notice what I did is I selected this address and drop that into the control C. I dropped that into my clipboard there. Okay, so now login is enabled. And let's let's just drop that into Notepad because we might uh, replace that in a minute. So in fact I'm going to. So I'm going to select this address, 20672 K. Okay, this address here, notice it still doesn't work. Now let's go back to this machine and if all is well, we can I just open this up in Explorer paste that and it shows us actually the log line. So this is today's date. Uh, it actually is not today's date. Get wrong on this. Uh, the date must be off on this particular computer so we'll ignore that. And look at this. It is trying to access coming from 206.72.117.39 which is the IP address of this server here, 139. And it is going to uh, the the internal IP address of this computer. We can see the remote port, and then you can, if you line these up, it's the source IP, destination IP, source port, and then destination port is 445 and also 139. So if we want to, we can we can search for 139 is, and this is the NetBIOS uh, port that is used. So it's actually not essential that this be open. We're not going to have to open this, but of course, you can research and find out your situation if you need something or not. And so now we know we can lock it down for the particular IP that it's coming from and also the 445. So let's try it out. Create a new rule. And let's do this by port. And we're going to do TCP ports, just 445. We're not going to worry about the 139. And we're going to allow the connection to all the profiles, just to be easy here right now. And we're going to say, allow SMB or let's say UNC sharing and done but then we want to lock this down further 
go to the properties and go to our scope and we're going to say it's just only allowed for 206, 72, 117, 39. And we're going to hit OK. And so let's give it a try. Done. So we are now able to navigate through this other computer however we need. Okay, so the key point that I wanted to show there, and actually when you're done, don't forget to turn this off again. And so I'll turn this off. Uh, of course, it's just failed logging, so it's not going to be too, too chatty. And I turn all three of those off. And we're good to go. And I now have the rule that I need to just allow one computer only through. Of course, this applies to not just this situation, but any situation with any port and IP. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope to see you again next week.